Hello everyone, this is David from How to Vectorize Anything. It was brought to my attention recently that the last video I uploaded, uh, the audio was very, very hard to hear. So I am doing a re-recording and uh, hopefully everybody can hear this. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, as you know, sometimes you produce something and you wonder if it's going to work out or not. If you re you know listen to it online, my audio system sounded good, but again, it all depends. So hopefully this is loud enough. And again, any questions, leave a comment. And I got to say thank you to um, the recent comment I had that uh, brought this to my attention. So again, thanks. So how to vectorize anything. This is a course that uh, I've developed over the years. And I have, uh, you know, brought to uh, brought out of the woodworks to show you uh, some, a few things on what I've learned as a production artist, graphic designer in the uh, printing and graphics industry for the past 20 years, uh, and to give you some pointers. So let's get started. So welcome. Are you needing some training? Do you have an employee that is struggling with Illustrator or Photoshop, or do you need to brush up on skills in Illustrator or Photoshop? Need a clear understanding of structure on how to produce more work efficiently? Well, this is the HTVA advantage, the how to vectorize anything advantage. Learning from a professional designer with over 20 years of experience, giving you a faster learning curve, going from scratching your head to producing high quality vector graphics, specifically focusing on the sign and graphics industry to give you real working knowledge. So here in module one, we want to go over how to vectorize for those need it now scenarios. So it's how to use Photoshop to make vectorizing simpler, faster, and precise. The best scenarios are when to use a live trace option and when not to, and creating vector paths for machine work, simplifying edges and reducing machine time. So this is the kind of scenario where I see myself in quite often where a client comes in and needs a decal or needs something done immediately. So in this module, I cover a lot of different scenarios that you would find yourself in and some tips and tricks on how to clean up, make a very useful and a clean vector image. In module tool, I go over how to recreate using a bad raster image showing you my step-by-step -step process that I've developed over 20 years in the industry. A deep dive into various methods to achieve a clean, professional vector graphic. How to cut down the work time when creating symmetrical drawings and reusing elements. So basically, when you get a bad piece of art from a client and you know it's going to look terrible when it's printed, blown up, this is kind of one of those scenarios where you can use this module specifically to give you the straight out answers on how to get to the point where you can create a very clean and precise graphic for your final product. In module three, we talk about how to clean up bad vectors. You know, learning how to use isolation tools and accurately pull out what's needed and what you, what you want to remove and using specific methods on capturing stray points and strokes. Specifically using artwork in developing tools paths for a final production run. So basically it's a very, um, it takes very complex vectors and takes them from overlapping strokes to when you see them in outline mode where the outline actually reflects the image and you're not seeing a lot of stray paths and a lot of different uh, elements hovering on the back end of your graphic. How to recreate a bad logo. So creating with the intent of using it for multiple production variations, developing the process on developing clipping masks and compound shapes, and making final versions of the finished product that looks the same in preview mode as it does in outline mode. So it's a very similar uh, technique, but this actually breaks it down so you can show different methods for different types of production. So what I mean by that is if you have a production process, say you need to produce a graphic, you need to produce a uh, dimensional item and maybe multiple layers of something, this method will show you exactly how you can take one image and create those three to, you know, 
to almost as many variations as you need to create the type of sign or craft or uh, type of uh, graphic that needs to be produced for the client for their final product. And in module five, I talk about where to go from here, how to use Google search for specific finds from vector to raster images, you know, find them more efficiently, how to use Google Analytics to search for illustrator work you want to do, and tips on developing a service and products to help boost your career in design. So what I do is I take a little time here to show you my a couple of techniques that I use to find good vector graphics, some sites I try to look at first before I go through the recreation process. So this is the step to make sure you don't have to do the work to get the, the job done faster and more efficiently. And then I dump into a few uh, of Google's analytic tools uh, to kind of understand a little bit more about what's going on out there right now. Is there work in other illustrating fields that you are not seeing? Is there something that you would like to do that you'd like to pursue that is out there right now and how to find it? And I'd like to you know, kind of explain that and show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. And it's all in this course, how to vectorize anything. I got it set up. The link is below. If you go ahead and click on that, it will actually break down each course module a little bit more in depth and give you a little bit more information. But the course is here. It's ready to go. And I'd love to see you on the other side. If you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. And I'd be more than happy to get back to you and let you know if there's any updates or let me know if there's any questions or concerns. I appreciate it.